Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you're new here, my name is Holly. I make food and fitness content. And if you are new here, welcome back to the channel. I am very excited for this week's video because I feel like it is gonna be slightly different to my weekly vlogs because we do have a guest staying with us this week. So my boyfriend has actually been in Manchester from LA for two weeks now. I cannot believe it's been two weeks. It is actually flying by. I feel like we've also like crammed so much into the past two weeks. So he is going to be a lot of guests on the vlog today. He's out at the gym at the moment. So when he comes back, I'm going to try and quick fire some questions at him and get him to come on. But I also appreciate that like doing YouTube and filming videos, like isn't everybody's idea of fun? So I'm going to try and not shove the camera in his face too much, but I am also going to be weekly vlogging so he doesn't really have much choice at this point i thought it would just be fun to kind of like show you guys what we're getting up to at the moment we've been doing loads of like eating out loads of workouts we are also prepping for holiday when i say prepping i mean like packing we're not actually doing any form of like dietary prep over here but we are prepping and trying to get ourselves ready because we're going to mykonos in four days i'm so excited i'm also really excited for alex because i think coming to england is like cool like england's a nice place i live here i like it but i think it's fairly similar to America in some ways. Like this is gonna sound weird, but like infrastructure wise and like architecturally, we're fairly similar to like America, but I feel like the buildings in like Mykonos and the architecture is just like so different and so beautiful. Like he's never gonna have experienced that. So I'm like really excited to go with him. We're actually going to Mykonos then we're going to Naxos, which is an island off of Mykonos. Then we're going back to Mykonos. And then we're going to go to Barcelona for a few days. So we literally have the most like jam-packed itinerary. So the next few days are going to kind of be just our usual like routine. What we've been doing. We've been going to the gym, doing workouts. We are also doing a kind of like competition at the moment. I'm not going to say too much. I'll fill you guys in when he's here because we can both explain it. But I am going to be vlogging that as well. So you guys can see who wins the competition. Because it's basically an assessment of who is the most athletic in our relationship. And and so far I'm losing and I'm not very happy about it. I've had to go and get changed. I don't know whether Alex is gonna be back in time because we are in a little bit of a rush to get to the tennis court. For us to kind of like explain, I guess the competition that we're doing. So I'll give you guys a bit of a backstory. Basically, we are both extremely competitive people. We decided this week to essentially set up our very own relationship olympics so we are competing in four different activities and we're just going to see who the win is and at the moment the bet is kind of like the loser has to pay for like our first evening at mykonos for like dinner and drinks which if you guys have been to mykonos it's a little bit expensive so i really don't want to lose this but it's not looking good folks basically we are doing bowling tennis bam ball on the beach where we're going on friday and we're also going to throw mini golf in there i am not doing too well i lost i would actually say i probably got thrashed at bowling i cannot bowl to save my life and for some reason Alex is literally like a pro bowler like that boy literally does not miss like every single shot he got was like a spare and I was lucky if I hit a bowling ball because we weren't allowed to put the barriers up because apparently that's cheating I'm already 1-0 down so we need to win a point today guys because I don't want to be buying dinner and drinks in Mykonos like that just that doesn't sound nice it doesn't sound friendly to my bank account <laughs> So we've had to have a slight change of plans. We did actually get to the tennis courts, but we only had half an hour. So the clips that you would have seen was basically we're just using it as a warm up, and then we're gonna go back later and play for an hour and do five games. But I was winning. No, you weren't. I was winning. Come on. You're gonna to be too small. Like <laughs> no, I like Let me make it higher. Now I'm gonna look really short. Hi. I said that I was gonna interview you. How do you feel about that? Let's do it. Name? Alex. H. H. Age. Do you know what 29. <laughs> Where are you from? Alabama. Where do you live? <laughs> uh, Los Angeles. What is your favorite part about England so far? Uh, the people, the walking too as well. What I think about England? <sighs> Where do I start? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I guess the food. I mean, it is healthier. Mm. There's not much of a variety if I want something different than yeah. poached eggs. What's your favorite thing about me? Uh, 
Um, there's such few. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I think, I mean, there is a lot, but I think the one that comes to mind is just the thoughtfulness that you have. I feel like you're one of the most thoughtful people that I've ever met. Just like the letters and then like small detailed stuff. That was a good answer. Yeah, I feel like that was. I'll let you in the interview there. Put you on someone We're actually going to make some sorbet. We just put some mousse, frozen mousse from Aldi in the pot. And what we're going to do, mango. Yeah. So we're gonna make that. I'm actually gonna go on a run because I need to a 6k run today and then we'll play tennis. And I'll whoop ya. Okay. Who do you think was better? I was. No! And now I've learned, I can take some time away. I'm gonna reflect on my run. I'm gonna like Rocky Balboa it and I'm gonna come back stronger. You know when he like runs up the stairs and he's like thinking about when he's gonna box. He's like, da da da! Alright. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I won. I won in six straight sets. <laughs> Guys, I lost in six straight sets. How, how did I play? Like shit. <laughs> no, serious. You have to give me one compliment from the game. I won 5 0. Okay, but that's not a compliment for me. Say something good about my tennis skills. <laughs> I really don't know. I don't know what game he was watching, but I hit. I Most of the games got to like 40. First two did. Yeah, okay, the first two games I was good, but guys, I did actually run at 6k, so. Good morning, guys. I can't talk too loudly because Alex is actually still asleep, so I've been up for like maybe one and a half hours now. This is kind of like normally how our mornings go. Like, he is technically on like a break from work, so I never want to wake him up. So I kind of get up, come into the kitchen, I've done some editing, I've had a meeting, I'll wait for Alex to wake up, and then we'll probably have breakfast together. And then usually we either go work out together or we do like separate workouts. But I think we're both going to go to the gym today, but just do separate sessions. This evening, the plan is that we're going to play mini golf for round three of the competition and guys I'm losing I'm losing the relationship Olympics right now <laughs> 2 nil. so I really really need to win mini golf the last time I played I did whoop him so hopefully I can bring that energy and that skill set to today's mini golf <laughs> Feels like it has been the longest amount of time since I've sat in this car and done a pre-workout gym chat with you all So it feels nice to be back in this environment So we're heading into the gym Alex has run off to do his session because it's probably a lot longer than mine But I'm doing a full body session today on my half marathon training plan currently on week three of the training plan I did actually do week one twice. So I'm technically on week four, but week three officially of the training plan Guys like I feel like this has given me the kick for running back again Like I was on a run yesterday and it was raining and I was running and I was like I'm back like I'm actually back and I'm just loving it and I feel like my fitness is like through the roof like on that run yesterday I was pushing like really hard and I haven't felt the kind of like motivation or drive to do that in a long time for a long time post marathon a lot of running was just ticking the boxes and to be honest feeling a bit deflated so it feels so good to just like oh, kind of have like the itch back for running like I'm just feeling passionate about it again it's exactly why I wanted to create these plans because I feel like following a structured plan that helps you improve your fitness makes running so much more enjoyable because if you're feeling good in your runs you're going to be enjoying them and following a plan that helps you do that kind of takes the stress away from you so it's a stress-free way to basically enjoy running a lot of the runs so far on the plan have actually been slower paced lower rpe runs but i cannot tell you how incredibly helpful that style of running is like that style of running running slow is essentially what is going to help you run faster it's going to build up your endurance it's going to build up your motivation because it's almost like somebody's kind of like got like a little like harness on you when you're running and they're pulling you back a lot and then suddenly when they finally let go and you get to go on those quicker runs it just feels incredible to finally be able to put a bit of like drive behind them generally training is feeling really really good i feel like i'm in a really good place when i'm running but also with the gym like i'm really enjoying the gym that is my training update for you guys but 
I'm going to go in and smash this full body session. <laughs> So we're going to mini golf this evening. We're going to do mini golf and Nando's. Hopefully tonight is going to be my night and I'm finally going to win one of the tests of the relationship Olympics because I'm not doing very well so far. I actually wanted to come on and chat because let's talk about the hair. So I'm obviously still on this kind of like hair care journey, but I'm sure you guys have seen literally every clip in this vlog, basically every story, every whatever recently, my hair has been slick. Like I kind of post about this on Instagram, but I've been like struggling a bit with like confidence, kind of like in general, like in work and myself, kind of with literally just like everyday tasks. Like since I've come out from Bali, I've just not felt like the confidence queen. And I was looking back at like videos of like America and when I was in LA and I just, was like wow like i was so confident then like i don't know what it is like something's just kind of like unclicked in my brain to just make me feel not very like confident at the moment which is a little bit frustrating it's a bit hard when you're kind of like doing something new in terms of like my hair care journey that i'm on at the moment because if you're not feeling confident anyway like and then you don't feel confident in like your hair or the way you look it just all kind of like feeds into one so that is probably why you guys have seen i've literally had this slicked little bun for the longest amount of time but hopefully i'm gonna have a hair wash day tomorrow this isn't even like straightened like this is literally just like scraped back when it's wet so the curls are still there they're just not like out and about at the moment I haven't actually put heat on it for two weeks which is the longest amount of time ever because even though i've been on this journey i've still kind of straightened it at a certain time so i am proud of that and it definitely feels like it's healthier it's just yes yeah, it's, it's a hard one it's definitely a journey it definitely needs to come out of this bun because i cannot live with a slicked back bun because then i'll never learn to like like it or to love it so I need a bit of a kick with the confidence to kind of like get the curls out and feel a bit better with them. Just at the moment, while I'm not feeling good in general, they're just, we're staying with how we feel comfortable with it, which is literally in the slip that little bun. <laughs> we were two apart. And then we were one apart. One apart. And then what did you just get? Eight. It's got an eight. Go. Good morning, guys. So I whooped Alex at mini golf last night. Whooped. No. Yeah. No. Scorecard doesn't lie. Oh, yeah, you got an eight. That was bad. But we're heading off to Formby Beach in Liverpool because it's really sunny in Manchester today. So hopefully it's equally as sunny in Formby Beach. But Alex hasn't been to the beach in the UK yet. I feel like this is a good one to go to because it is stunning. But we've made up like a little picnic and yeah, we're just gonna head down because I don't wanna waste any more daylight. So yeah, we'll see you guys at the beach. I need a no purpose. I'm looking for so much more. Don't leave me here searching. You're just what I'm longing for When times are getting crazy And everything seems hazy Is there some place for safe I could go? Run away, run away, run away To your escape Guys, we did actually play racquetball or bat and ball for it took an hour because Alex wouldn't let me sit down until we hit a rally of 50, which he did actually take down from 100. But it took an hour for me to be able to hit a rally of 50. Maybe like racquetball sports just aren't my thing. I still need to do one more sporting activity. Why don't we go for a run? Why don't we, go, why don't we do a marathon? Why don't we do a marathon? Why don't we do, sprints? Why don't we do a marathon? Do sprints? See who can do a marathon oh. the fastest. We need to go to soccer. 
indoor soccer. Football. Football, you mean. <laughs> soccer. Let's go play soccer. Back from the beach now. We've just chilled for a little bit. Um, Alex is currently in the other room eating a peanut cookie. <laughs> that he bought while I was taking earlier. So he, we're in different rooms while he's eating that. And we're gonna go to gym and train arms. I was gonna do one of my run sessions this evening, but I feel really tired and I feel really needy. So I'm just gonna jump in and do what Alex is doing, which is another arm session. Take me home, take me on a ride. I got a good feeling about the colors lighting up your eyes. Take me home, take me to the sky. I got a good feeling. Tell me the only thing you are is mine now. I got a good feeling. I got a good feeling. You wanna know is how to hold on to it every moment. Dive into it like my love. Today has been stressful for no reason. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I'm sat in the gym car park because I've just dropped Alex off. He's doing like a huge leg session. And we go to Mykonos tomorrow. And the day before holiday, why is it so stressful? Like suddenly I'm like, oh my God, I need to do this, need to do this, need to do this. Alex was literally like, you are stressing about things that don't really need to be stressed about. That boy does not understand that I haven't had my toenails done. And it's currently 6 p.m. And we leave tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Like, I don't know why I'm sat here even talking to you guys, no offense, but like I really need to go get my toenails done. He was like, it's fine if you go on holiday. Guys, I have running toenails. These toenails should not be seen in the light of day in Mykonos. So we're gonna go try and get our toenails done. I haven't even packed a single item of clothing. I just, I'm finding it hard to breathe because I'm feeling so stressed at the moment. We're back, the toenails are done. Guys, they're looking so good. They're looking so much better. But the woman was like, um, they're slightly like uneven and like quite a few of them are crap. Just like, do what you can, do what you can. <laughs> It'll be better than how they look now. And they do definitely look way better. They look ready for Mykonos. So I'm gonna grab a packing essential and then we're gonna get to work on this process because it's a lot to do. Right. Guys, I need to show you the weather in Manchester right now because this is horrendous. This is the current situation. You can't even see. It is that rainy. You cannot literally see anything. Guys, I feel like we've been here many a times before. I'm not very good with packing light and I get one suitcase, which is 22 kg. And so far, this is purely my hair and makeup stuff. And that's already about 10 kg. You literally have to think of everything. Like it's not even just clothes for holidays, it's like pajamas, running stuff, gym stuff. I need to take medication with me. I have an allergy. There's just so many little things that can just be forgotten. But also, as long as I'm there and I've got my passport, I've got my boyfriend next to me, I've got my EpiPen, I am good. Like everything else is kind of just like a bonus. I just hate the thought of like forgetting something. So I have made a few purchases for the holiday. We have literally a whole section of the wardrobe to my grease stuff like i have bought some nice things 
so I'm really excited to wear this. I bought this little number from Meshki. How cute is this? Like, how cute is this? Well, Alex is literally going to come back and be like, oh my god, he did also mention that he has half a suitcase free. So I'm probably going to be utilising that. I was like, oh really? Oh, that's, that's convenient. Okay, I already know that I've only shopped here. This has to be the dress that I'm the most excited to wear. I bought this from Rat and Boa and it is stunning. This is, this is the whole project. I think I'm going to have to check in with you guys and like... 20 odd minutes when I basically got everything out. Guys, <laughs> it's 10 p.m. It's 10 p.m. in the evening, in the night time. I have got everything out, let me show you. As you can see. So some progress has been made, but still nothing is in my suitcase. Still feeling very stressed. This vlog, you guys, you're gonna be up tomorrow, 4 p.m. Haven't, haven't got cracking on that yet. So again, lots to do, not very much time. Probably gonna sign off now. <laughs> I literally went to get Alex from the gym, then we picked up a wag mama's, we've eaten that, and then we've sat and like gone through all my outfits and bless him, he sat and like watched me literally tell him every single outfit I'm taking on holiday. So I'm good to go. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually just shove everything in my suitcase and get myself to bed. Cause I do need to wake up and do a 12K in the morning too before we head off at the airport at 11 a.m. So yeah, definitely need to be getting moving, <laughs> get myself to bed. I hope you guys have enjoyed this week's video. It's been really fun like taking you guys along with us. I'm just doing a bit more of a weekly vlog. Please that's all say a little wish that my suitcase is underway i'll keep you updated because by the time this video posts i will be in the air on my way to make us oh i cannot wait it's just like so exciting and like i keep saying like it's just so exciting going with alex as well so yeah i'll keep you guys updated with all of the travel i will obviously be posting loads of our trip on instagram tiktok and of course youtube so i will see you guys next week